हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम वंस अगेन इन कूल आई टी हेल्प दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द जैंगो टूटोरियल सेशन इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एंड गोइंग टू रन अ स्मॉल डैमो जैंगो एप ऑल्सो वी विल डू सम सेटिंग्स एंड वी विल सेट अप द सर्वर सो वी कैन क्रिएट द जैंगो एप इन द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ दिस टूटोरियल एंड वी कैन रन इट ओके गाय सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट so one of the most important thing that i want to share you guys some of you guys will uh, get the django admin is not recognized error when they going to run a useful command to set up the django project and guys to avoid this we have to run a simple command after running this command you will not get any error everything will go flawless okay so this is the command and the same command given in the description so you can get it there from okay and now open the terminal guys this is the place where we left in the first part of this tutorial series and now i am going to run the same command right here okay we just pressed enter and we have to wait for the installation and this will take 2 to 3 minute for the complete installation if you have a good internet speed then this will not take much time right now you can see that the new django libraries is downloading in progress because this is going to replace the uh, missing files if something is missing in on your system so this will be updated and this will refresh everything which is required for the proper running of the django app Okay guys finally we got the message successfully installed and all the files updated now we are going to proceed for creating a django project folder this is very simple we have to execute a simple command and this will be ready now we need to open the vs code terminal and we have to run this command this command also given in the description box uh, i want to tell you one thing uh, we have one dot at the end of this command means this means that we are telling to the command that the current folder is our project folder and whatever we are going to create will be created inside our current folder that's it it's very simple okay so we are going to create the web project and this will be created in our current project folder okay right now we are inside the project underscore django folder and now we are going to create the web project okay so i have just copied this command and going to run on this terminal here we go okay it's done this will not take much time and you can notice on the left hand side in this explorer tab this web project folder is created also we got some files inside it let me show you now you can see this is the web underscore project folder just created and we have these files these files have some importance in this uh, project setup i will tell you let me open the notepad so i will tell you a small summary about it so this is the folder just created and we have these files one of these file is in it underscore dot py this is an empty file which tells the python that this folder this is a python package also we have asgi dot py an entry point for the asgi com web com servers to serve your project we will leave this file as it is because this will provide a hooks for the production web servers we have one more file settings dot py which contains settings for the django project and we will modify this time to time at the course of developing a web application also we have one important file urls.py as you can see the name this contains a table of contents for the django project okay we will also modify this file time to time at the time of developing an app and we have one more wsgi.py which is an entry point file for the wsgi compatible web servers to serve your project and we will leave this file as it is as we left asgi.py so these are the important file i hope you guys are aware about this 
now we are at this step two so guys we are going to create a empty development database by running a simple command and this will create an SQLite DB in our project so at the same terminal now we just pasted this command pressed enter and wait for three to ten seconds and uh, this will create a SQLite database you can see db.sqlite3 okay which is the inside the our parent folder Django project underscore Django and guys we are at step 3 now to verify that our Django project setup is proper or not and uh, make sure your virtual environment is activated we have to start our Django development server with the help of a simple command so you can say we are going to start the Django server so just copy this command and put it here in the terminal press enter and you will see some results like this also you can see a message your development server is started at this URL you can see uh, this is the important thing that I want to tell you that your server will start at 8000 port okay also you can open this with the help of this URL also you can simply click that place okay so I'm just opening this way putting that URL here in this Chrome and you can see this message the install worked successfully congratulations congratulations your server is working also you can simply uh, press control click you can launch that URL okay so your server will be started with the help of this control plus click if you want to close the server we have a simple key combination control plus C simply press control plus C and you will be out from the server your server will be closed okay guys this is closed okay I just refreshed the Chrome browser and uh, we got that site cannot be reached so this is the way and one of the important uh, thing I want to share with you if you want to run this server on a different port than the default port of 8000 you can use uh, the same command and just specify that particular port at the end of this command this way and just run it on the terminal so you can start your server on your given port number okay you can see this is started so we have a choice we can run our server on any port of our choice so guys this is the way we have set up the uh, project folder and we have just started the uh, server for serving our uh, app and in the next part of this session we will create an app and we will write some code and then we will print the hello cool IT help on the web with the help of one page and uh, so I'm closing this uh, tutorial right now we will see rest of the things in the third part of this tutorial session I hope you will be there I'm waiting and guys if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool IT help